Hey everybody, welcome back. So, as you can probably see from the thumbnail, I didn't read a lot in February. And I wanted to start off the video by telling you exactly why. So that there's a bit of context before I actually get into what I read and how I felt about them. So, towards the start of February, I started having more and more issues with my right hand. And I still have to go see a, a specialist to have that all understood because I still don't really know what's going on with my right hand and I'm pretty sure something will be resolved hopefully but I also had another fun situation where I was getting more headaches that were sharp and uh, lights and such were definitely uh, working against me there every time I looked up to the sky it hurt so I was dealing with a lot of sinus issues as well so I had to start getting on a sinus regimen, and as a result, I couldn't stand to read a lot in one sitting. Now, that's to say for the first book. For the second book, I just... We'll get there. Alright, so I'm not going to do from least favorite to favorite. Uh, honestly, this might be a bit of a hot take. I wasn't super impressed with either of these books. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, hop on into this video here. So, first book that I read in February is The Shining by Stephen King. This is the first time that I read it all the way through. Um, not the first time that I've tried to read it, but the first time that I read it all the way through. I had bought a paperback copy of it years ago, and I still have that copy, I got it from a used bookstore, which was pretty cool, I guess. Um, and I I don't know what it was about this book. Like, this version is 450 pages, and I felt bored. Like, I felt like I was wanting more out of it than it was really giving me. And I have not seen the movie, so keep that in mind. I just felt like, technically, this is a really good book. I feel like Stephen King uh, really knows how to put together a book, and all the sentences are very poetic in here. I enjoyed how the writing is, and I enjoyed uh, ways that some of the characters spoke, and um, their backstories and memories and such. I thought that was pretty nice, pretty well put together. Um, my issue is that the story itself is a bit lackluster, and it's the first half that really got me, because until Danny goes into room 217, halfway through this book, like, exactly page 225 is where it starts to pick up here, and for me, that's a bit too long into the book. By the time I got to the end, I was like, okay, that's done. Um, I didn't dislike it. I didn't love it, though. I really wish that we could dwell on certain things either more or dwell on other things less. Because there got to be certain moments where I was like, okay, I, I get your reasoning, Wendy. I get why you're not exactly trusting Jack in this situation. I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's like you're saying more or less the same thing, just in different words. And it hits a point where I'm just wanting more from the characters. That's not what we've already been hearing for the past 200 pages. Um, by the time that the ghostly activities start happening in the hotel, it starts to become a little more interesting. But it, it took a bit too long. Even when I got there, I wasn't super interested in what was happening. It It's like... How do I describe it? It's like, I wanted to have this book be one thing, and then that's not what it was, and I'm disappointed that what I wanted isn't there, even though what I got is still good. It's just that good is not exactly my thing. I'm sure for many people, this is probably one of their favorite Stephen King books, but from the other books that I've read cover to cover, this one is not my favorite probably closer to the bottom. I haven't read a lot, admittedly, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, 
on a technical level, this book is really good. Um, I just wasn't super invested with its story in the way that it was being presented. So maybe if I check out the mini series that Stephen King himself overlooked, hmm, then that might change my opinion. Uh, I know that the Stanley Kubrick movie is not exactly um, a good adaptation of this novel. Um, I also know that Mr. Stephen King wasn't a fan of it for many, many years. It wasn't until um, Dr. Sleep came out that he started to have a form of respect for that movie. Um, so maybe I'll check that out too, just see what exactly is different, because um, there are certain beats that everybody knows from that movie. It's kind of stuck into pop culture, so maybe I'll do a review on it. Maybe I won't. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard everything about The Shining to this day, so. Um, so, yeah, that's my take on The Shining. I probably won't be reaching for it again in the near future uh, as compared to, like, other Stephen King books because I read The Outsider and I thought that was fun, but this was kind of a slog. And maybe my physical health at the time is what determined my opinions regarding it. Um, maybe in the future I will come back to it and try again. Maybe I'll like it then. But at this point of time, I'm not too big on it. So the other book that I read in February is Ring. This is the movie tie-in version with rings. Uh, so if I accidentally slip up and say rings, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> Ring is a story by... Koji Suzuki, and it takes place in Japan. Um, it is the original serialized novelization. Does that work grammatically? Whatever. We'll let it run. Um, a novelization that inspired the movie Ringu, which was later remade into The Ring, starring Naomi Watts. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. If you have watch the movie with Naomi Watts. If you watch the Ringu movie, you've gotten the best versions. Um, this book really isn't as good as the movie adaptations. I think this is one of those rare situations where the movie is definitely better because it seems to be paced a bit better than the book is. And most of the uh, characterizations aren't as one note as they are in the book. Um, both of the main characters in Ryuji and, uh, God, I've even forgotten his name already, um, uh, Asakawa, I felt that they were, again, one note, because Asakawa really was just kind of spineless throughout the entirety of the story, had his own little bit that, uh, it's like, oh, this is where I'm gonna do this and step outside my comfort zone. It's really not that far outside of his comfort zone. So when you get to the end of the book and all the mysteries are starting to become unraveled, it's like there are certain things that stuck out like a sore thumb. And I was questioning why they needed to be put in there because they didn't really. Again, if you've seen Ringu and The Ring, there's a specific detail in this book that is not added into those movies that I think is for the best. Um, because the way it's introduced in the book is that Ryuji suddenly asks uh, Asakawa a question that I was like, okay, that's random. And we get a reveal later that ties into that. It's not good foreshadowing. It's very blatant. Like, it's so obvious that this is what they're foreshadowing. So when I read that bit, I was like, oh, okay, so that's what um, Suzuki is alluding to here. It could also just be the um, translator uh, didn't do the best of job here. But um, ultimately, I didn't care too much about the story by the end. It starts off really good. Like, I'd say the first 50 or so pages really strong, very engaging, very interesting. But as we get further into the story, it fizzles out and I become less interested in the overall mystery. 
and it doesn't help that I uh, <laughs> may have uh, watched The Ring before I finished reading this book. And, I mean, it's more or less the same ending with this uh, book. There's pieces here and there that are different, like how the exact curse strikes and such, that is not the same as how it is in The Ring. But I felt that the way it's presented in The Ring is a bit more engaging overall. Because by the time you get to the end of the mystery in The Ring, it's like, oh my gosh, this is really big. But once you get to the end of this book, it's just like... Hmm. Interesting. Um, the very, very end of Asakawa's choice, I thought was actually good for his character because otherwise he was very one note throughout the entirety of the book so when we get that reveal at the end where he decides to do what he's gonna do I said there you go that's something however it was a bit too late because it was quite literally the last few pages that he made his choice so I wasn't too incredibly happy with that um I took a while reading this book, despite it being very short. Like, this is 282 pages. Despite it being very short, it took me a while to read, just because I hit the wall, and I became very disinterested in the overall story. And that's a sad thing, because I really liked re-watching The Ring. It'd been a long time. I would say the last time that I watched it was maybe 2014. So it'd been a good minute since I watched the movie. And rewatching it really helped give me a uh, new perspective on it because I didn't fully understand it when I was like in the ninth grade. But nowadays, I have a strong appreciation for the movie because it does what it needs to and the overall feels very depressing. And I really like that. So if I'm to recommend this story, I'm going to recommend its movie counterparts, either The Ring or Ringu. They're both fantastic in their own rights and I recommend both uh, not so much the ring two or rings um, those just kind of miss the point of what makes the ring and Ringu really good but I digress so that's pretty much it for the books that I read in February I know it's very short um, as compared to last month's but I'm hoping to be reading more for March. Um, I have some very interesting ones. I decided to do a genre departure instead of doing horror uh, for one of the books that I read this month, which I've already finished. Um, so that's going to be a very different approach to this channel. Uh, I plan on doing some more uploads this week, uh, specifically movie uh, reviews that I saw towards the end of February that I haven't done videos for and hopefully that will be something that interests you to come back so make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will be able to bring more videos like this to you in the coming future all right thanks and have a great day bye <laughs>